Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. With the B-2 Spirit being the world's only operational strategic stealth bomber, it's a linchpin in the U.S. military. Today, we look inside this super secure hangar, hiding the world's most expensive bomber. Radar wave reflection from engine exhaust was a major issue for B-2 Spirit stealth bomber designers. They invented the Chevron nozzle, which diffuses the engine's heat signature to lower its radar profile. The B-2 Spirit stealth bomber has a 172-foot wingspan, a maximum speed of 628 miles per hour, and a range of 6,000 nautical miles. Hangar operations require precise maintenance in climate-controlled conditions to protect the radar-absorbing materials. Pre-flight checks are thorough, including system diagnostics, stealth coating inspections, and flight control tests to ensure the aircraft's readiness and operational integrity for the mission. Because of its technology, the B-2 is not kept in a normal hangar. The B-2 Spirit stealth bomber necessitates a specially constructed wide hangar to accommodate its unusual wingspan. The hangar is a large structure that measures 200 feet wide by 400 feet long, with a ceiling height of 60 feet. The hangar is outfitted with complex climate control systems, which maintain a precise temperature and humidity level to protect the bomber's sensitive stealth components. The hangar also has a cutting edge filtering system that ensures a dust-free atmosphere preventing harm to the aircraft's radar-absorbing coating. The hangar's enormous doors can be opened and closed in 10 minutes, allowing for rapid deployment. Security for the B-2 is a critical component. The U.S. Air Force Security Forces is responsible for protecting Air Force bases, personnel, and resources from threats. Members of the 509th SFS at Whiteman Air Force Base, home of the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, play a critical role in safeguarding this strategic asset. As defenders of the base, they stand guard 24-7, conducting patrols, manning gates, and responding to security breaches. These highly trained airmen are skilled in combat tactics, first aid, and crisis management. They ensure the security of the base, its personnel, and the U.S. nation's most advanced stealth bomber. Loading weapons on a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber is sophisticated and precise. The bomber's unusual design includes a revolving weapons rotary launcher assembly. The operation begins with the weapons being loaded into the RTA, which is then turned into position to load aboard the aircraft. The B-2 can transport up to 80 500-pound class weapons, including GPS-guided joint direct attack munitions and precision-guided bombs.
A team of highly experienced airmen oversees the entire procedure, adhering to tight safety protocols to ensure the weapons are loaded safely and effectively on the B-2. Among the strategic bombers of the United States Air Force, the oldest one is the B-52H Stratofortress. Pre-flight maintenance for the B-52H Stratofortress includes a thorough inspection and preparation of the aircraft. Technicians visually evaluate the outside and inside, looking for evidence of damage or malfunction. They also conduct functional tests on engines, fuel, electrical and hydraulic systems. Inspections and tests also include the aircraft's avionics, navigation and communication systems. Every time, the crew performs a pre-flight review of the aircraft's instruments, controls and safety equipment. This careful process guarantees that the B-52H is airworthy and prepared for its mission. Physical damage to the B-52H Stratofortress is the responsibility of the aircraft's structural maintenance squadron. They also handle the aerodynamics and other substructures of the B-52. These airmen are like auto body repairmen. Certain parts require a more thorough inspection. Magnetic particle inspection is a procedure used by technicians, such as those from the 2nd Bomb Wing's non-destructive inspection team. They magnetize the B-52 component, apply a liquid containing magnetic particles, and then use a black light to reveal any fissures that are not visible to the naked eye. We do the structures of the aircraft. The best way to explain it is auto body for airplanes skin of the aircraft, substructure like ribs and stuff when they crack. We also deal with corrosion on the jet and we deal with spray painting the jet. Other ways to help extend the lifespan of the B-52 include phase washing. Every 240 flight hours, the B-52 Stratofortress undergoes a comprehensive cleaning operation known as phase washing. Think of it as spring cleaning. It's a more involved process than standard washing, requiring a thorough inspection and cleaning of the aircraft's exterior and interior. The process entails removing dirt, filth and corrosion, as well as checking and cleaning difficult to reach regions like landing gear and engine parts. This careful process protects the aircraft's structural integrity prevents corrosion, and assures peak performance. It's a vital step in extending the life of the B-52, which has been in service for more than 60 years. Another reason aircraft tend to last longer is that most of them are stored in hangars. Hangars are an essential component of U.S. Air Force bases, providing a secure and controlled environment for aircraft maintenance, repair, and storage. 
They provide a safe environment for technicians to execute routine inspections, repairs and changes, maintaining the airworthiness and readiness of aircraft. Hangars also protect airplanes from harsh weather, preventing damage and corrosion. They also provide a secure environment for critical procedures like weapon loading and specialized maintenance. The regulated atmosphere of the hangar also allows for accurate temperature and humidity regulation, which is required for contemporary aircraft's sophisticated systems to function properly. Overall, hangars play an important role in supporting the mission of the United States Air Force by ensuring that aircraft are available and ready to deploy at any time. Therefore, they need to be maintained and protected as well. Autonomous high expansion foam systems in USAF hangars are intended to quickly extinguish fires while protecting important aircraft and equipment. These systems use a massive amount of foam, which expands up to 1,000 times its liquid content. This smothers flames and reduces heat, essentially shutting off the fire's oxygen supply. The foam is dispensed by strategically placed nozzles, covering large regions quickly. To assure the reliability and effectiveness of these systems, Strict methods are used throughout testing. Simulated fire scenarios are used to assess the system's quick deployment, foam expansion rate, and coverage. Sensors and control units are evaluated for their responsiveness and accuracy in detecting heat and smoke. The systems must meet demanding criteria, such as NFPA compliance, rapid activation within seconds of fire detection, and complete coverage of the defined hangar area within a set time frame. They must also be assessed for environmental safety, ensuring that the foam is non-toxic and does not affect personnel or aircraft components. So we are in uh, building 113, we affectionately call the orange hangar on the Geek Tyson International Guard Base. Yeah. And we are about to conduct a high expansion foam test. Wow. It's a fire suppression system. Uh, foam dumps out of these big generators up here in the ceiling, in the red generator, and they uh, it dumps on the floor. And we have two timing requirements that we have to do. A similar system is used on the hangar decks of U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. The aqueous film-forming foam system on the hangar decks of Nimitz-class carriers is critical for firefighting. This technique quickly deploys a foam water mixture, which creates a thin coating over flammable liquid surfaces, thereby smothering flames and preventing reignition. Nozzles are strategically placed to ensure extensive coverage. The AFFF is activated automatically when a fire is detected or can be manually triggered. Regular drills and maintenance inspections ensure that the system is operational and functional. The AFFF system designed to manage aviation fuel fires and other onboard risks is critical for the safety of personnel, aircraft, and the carrier. To keep deck clean and safe, the U.S. Navy performs frequent flight deck washdowns. By removing any possible fuel and oil, the chances of fires on the flight deck are also lessened. This procedure carefully cleans the flight deck with water, frequently mixed with cleaning agents to remove debris 
oil, and other contaminants collected during flight operations. These compounds, when used on a metal deck, can cause slippery and hazardous situations, endangering both personnel and equipment. The washdowns help to prevent corrosion and protect the deck surface. They are normally carried out during operational downtimes or in port, causing minimal disruption to flying activities. This routine maintenance is critical to the safe and effective operation of air wings. Other systems keep ships both clean and free of any CBS warfare agents. The countermeasure washdown system is a defensive system used on Arleigh Burke class destroyers and other vessels to counter chemical, biological, and radiological threats. The system uses high pressure water jets to wash down the ship's deck and superstructure, removing CBR contaminants. The CWDS is activated in response to a detected CBR threat and can also be used to decontaminate the ship after an attack. This system helps to protect the crew and ship from CBR agents, ensuring continued operations and safety. Another type of evolution is critical for keeping flight decks clean. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sailors and marines of all ages, it's time for FOD Walkdowns! FOD Walkdowns are performed on flight decks and well decks to maintain a safe operating environment. Personnel inspect flight decks for debris that could enter aircraft engines or harm aircraft systems. FOD walkdowns at well decks are designed to guard against LCAC turbine blasts, which can fling debris and harm adjacent equipment. Teams look for loose objects and secure or remove them to avoid harm or injury. This proactive solution promotes safety and avoids costly repairs. No, it gets pretty wind windy down there. Once the LCAT comes in, it kicks up a lot of dirt, rocks, sand, you know, the little things that we can't pick up during a fall walk down. Keeping the U.S. Air Force resources in top condition is a full-time job, from sustaining B-2 bombers to maintaining B-52s and ensuring the safety and security of all. These practices extend beyond the FOD walkdowns to the men and women who repair aircraft systems. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.